I remember going on holiday to Cobram as a kid trying to catch a Murray cod. All I ever got was a car. But just to know those cod were in the river and I might actually see one just blew me away. Murray cod, incredible fish. There's something mystical, something magic. And believe it or not, Australia is the only place in the world you can catch them. That's why I love them so much. Fish of a thousand casts, but every cast is worth it. Just waiting for that bite, so much fun. Remember those old fisherman's excuse mugs? Too windy, too still, tide was in, tide was out. That's what Murray Cod's all about. They are so temperamental. One little thing changes, bit of rain, bit of bad weather, they shut down. So fingers crossed we had everything going our way so I can show you one of these beautiful beasts. Well, this is where the fun starts. The roads have been relatively good till here, but now it's about to get tricky. Rod time with the last 50 k's of this drive can be pretty hairy. They've had a lot of rain here. There's some serious mud, the tracks are slippery and some big puddles. So it's really important to take some air out of your tyres. I like to run about 22 psi. What it does gives you more pressure pad on the ground, more traction. Obviously, you're going to get through that mud a lot easier. The other thing you've got to remember too, if you get a balloon, you blow it right up nice and hard. You hit it with a pin, what happens? It goes pop straight away. But if you've got a small balloon with less pressure, you've really got to poke it to try and pop it. And that's the same with tyres that don't have as much air in them when sticks and stones and all that sort of stuff hits them. Them, get a lot less chance of causing some serious damage. So what I've got here is an Ironman speedy deflator and all I literally do is screw this onto the valve of my tyre. It's very, very clever because it actually pushes the valve out so I can release air extremely quickly. So I can actually feel now that's grabbed the valve, I pull it out and to release air, bang, and stop and I can see I've got, look at that, 22 and a bit, bang, pressure spot on. Now I've got that sorted, it's time for the fun stuff. And as you know, every good cod fishing spot is a secret spot, and uh, we've made it hard for you to find the joint. So come into camp now, and we'll uh, have a look at the river and the fishing. Talk about hard, I had to drive into the blindfold, and this bloke is very secretive. <laughs> Rod, how pretty is this place? Mate, it's a beautiful place, isn't it? And you're telling me this is where the big cod live? This is where the big cod lives, Paul. You just check out that beautiful river, all the snags, crystal clear water. It's a time of year when we get our biggest fish, mate. So the million dollar question, Rod, where are we? Because people are going to want to know where they're going to catch a big cod. Well, that is the million dollar question. And if somebody sends me a million bucks to my name, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell them, I'll tell but them. But this is the Murray River. This is the Murray River, mate. And this can happen along a lot of sections of the Murray River. It's not just one spot, it's many spots. It's just up to the anglers to get out on the water and have a go. All about perseverance. Now, we're actually fishing with surface lures for cod. The way I think about it, that's probably the hardest way to catch them. Why yeah. are we doing that? Well, I think it's because it's so shallow here and the water's so clear. The big Murray cod, they're a big predator. Um, a duck, some rain, <laughs> a platypus, something like that that's big. They're more inclined to come out and have a strike at it, and they've never seen it before. Uh, in the past, most anglers were only using small surface lures. Yep. 
Um, we're, we're getting into stuff about this big now, and it's and it's. Uh, Is that the fish you're catching or the lures? The lures, mate. <laughs> we might get a couple of fish this big, but we're more likely to get one this big. So. Sensation. The rain's not going to bother the fish. Well, not at the moment. I'd like to see this disappear, and we know it's going to, and the barometer will go up, and we're a real shot. I think it's time to put the billy on, set up the swag. This is what fishing is all about. Happy I am. Rod, the rain has cleared. I've set up my little camp and we are having a well-deserved beer by the fire. Yes, mate, it's very nice, isn't it? It is. Now, to me, this is the romance of cod fishing. Getting out here by the river, there's not a sound except for cockatoos, fire crackling, just amazing. Mate, I know it's a, a big ask, but do you think we're actually a chance of catching the monster we're here for? Because some people take them 50 years if they're lucky. Mate, you're always a chance. And <clears throat> as I said, at this time of the year, on the surface, um, yeah, I'm pretty confident. So you would have caught a lot of metre cod in your life. Yeah. How many hours would you put in fishing per metre cod? Now, I know it's a tough one, yeah, but no. give me, is, is it one, <laughs> is it 50, is it 100? Oh, look, I, I sort of, when I go away, Paul, I think if I could get at least one shot a day, it's pretty good. Yep. Some days are better, some days are worse. So, like, you average it out and you say, like, at least one shot at a big fish a day. And speaking about big fish, what is the biggest fish you've physically laid your eyes on all these years in the water? I got a metre 55. Woo. That's the biggest fish I've ever seen. Um, I've seen a fair few over a metre 40, a lot of metre 30s, and heaps over a metre, mate. So, so obviously metre's the magic mark, but that's like a thousand pound mile, and then people try to get that 1200, 1400, and then the, the, the curve just goes like this. There's not many on the bell-shaped curve over that. What is it with cod? Is it like if you get over a metre 20, that's just crazy? Like one in 10,000 fish, maybe? If you're a keen cod angler and you do actually get a metre 20, mate, I reckon you could almost pack the rod away. Scary. I want that big fish. I don't want to give up fishing. Now I'm a bit torn. You know what? I'll give it a crack. Well, it's been a massive day and the morning's going to come all too quickly. Tomorrow, we chase the mighty cod. Good night. Rod, you weren't joking. You said we'll be getting up early. Yeah, mate up early for the big fish on the surface and uh, <coughs> a treacherous trip down under torchlight. So we're literally going super slow so we don't hit a log? That's it mate, you've seen the timber that's here, there's heaps of big logs, they just pop up here and there, you just got to be a bit careful. And it's those logs we're looking for because that's where the big cod hide. Now one more question Rod, are there any clothes left in your wardrobe at home because you're wearing <laughs> quite, well I haven't got a word for it actually. <laughs> I've actually put on an extra couple of stone, Paul, look at that. Unbelievable. Last time I saw that many clothes, I was at St Vinnie's. And uh, sorry, Rob, but they looked a lot nicer. <laughs> so as I may have mentioned once or twice, these fish really are the fish of a thousand casts. I've already counted, I've done 45 this morning. Rod would have done at least 45 as well, so there's 90. And so far, not even a look in, but when you least expect it, a fish will come out of nowhere and it'll make your day, it'll make your year, potentially make your life of that fish of a lifetime. And Rod, people must understand if they're going to come and do this, it's not have five casts, catch a fish and go home, is it? No, that's it, mate. It's all about patience. They do test your patience. There's no worries about that, but sometimes it's the very first cast of the day and sometimes it's the very last one. Sun's got right up, so I've got a hard body on. Rod's got a mumbler, got to get down deep to where the fish are. So, Rod, quiet morning on the river? Yes, yeah, quiet morning, mate, but that's cod fishing. It sure is. We are going to get one now, aren't we? Yeah, we'll get one, mate. I'm sure we'll get one. 
I love his confidence. I think I'm up to about 326 casts, so I'm getting closer by the minute. a big lure we're casting and because of that the cod gear we use today is so far from what you call conventional. So happy I spoke to Rod before I left in my tackle room because he said you're going to need serious gear. So this is actually my Papua New Guinea black bass gear. It's a Loomis Pro Blue Rod rated 20 to 40 pound. Probably the most significant thing, it's 6 foot 6 in length so it gives you the ability to really cast and double handle which makes it a lot easier for those big bait casts. The real Shimano Tranks 300. 5.8 to 1, super strong, holds a lot of line. And speaking of line, the line is 65 pound fins braid, 40G, but still super thin. Seriously, I could pull in a 44 gallon drum with this. I just need one to get on the end of my line. The shotgun, boom, and on Paul. How good was oh, that? A lot of timber down there. Oh, it's on the timber. I saw no, the tail. I actually saw yep. three quarters of him come out of the water. Big tail splash. Be a a serious fish. Look at him. That is amazing. And this is what it's about, Paul. We've waited a long time that. for this. You got that net, Jamie? Swing it up. We've waited a while. Oh, oh that's he's a, a horse. Big fish. He is a horse. That's a beast. How's the take? Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. There's, look at that. Oh no. He's and just pinning the in the rubber. He's only just caught too. Oh. That was absolutely epic. Come on, big fella, give it up. Oh, oh it's yeah. well pinned, it's well pinned. Look at that for incredible fish. And Rod, I reckon that was about your 537th cast. I was getting up towards the amount that we were talking about earlier. Oh, look at that. All right, look let's bring him at in. That. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Holy snapping Murray Cod. <laughs> that is gold. Mate, how's the size of that thing? Even the cockatoos are singing. <laughs> and he's, he's a beast. He's a good fish, mate, isn't he? How do we get him out of the net? Well, <laughs> we'll work on, work on getting this lure out first. Yeah, so just watch him. Sweet. That is just a horse. When that fish come up, he literally come out. I saw, the first thing I saw was, your... was from there to there, sticking straight up in the air, Rod. Let's not let him get back in the ground. Right. And you just cut the hooks off? I do if they're in a bad spot, Paul, yep. but, but if they're... No, I'll cut that one. Yep. There we go. That's it, that's gone. That is just the most epic thing now. I've been talking, right, about these fish being Australian icons, fish that you work hard for, and this is what hard work is all about, isn't it? It is, mate, but look at that. In the end, we'll pick this fish up, eh? Absolutely. I'll show you the camera. I might need a hand here, Paul. Yeah, you're right. You know your fish are big when you need help picking them up. Now, do you want... That's it. Look at the guts on it, Rod. Is that me or the fish? Both. That's me needing your campfire. Look, look at that. that. Look at that. That is... The Aussie legend. And I'm not talking about Rod McKenzie, I'm talking about this Murray Cod. And they're pretty hardy fish, they sit out of the water okay. They are, mate. It's better in the winter when their metabolism's down a bit. Yep. Uh, but generally not a problem. And we put in a lot of casts today. You knew this was going to happen, didn't you? I hoped it was, mate. It's all about the work, Paul. Yep. Um, if these fish were easy, everyone would be doing it. That's exactly right. And I said from day dot, it's all about persistence. And a fish like this, this is a fish of my lifetime. It is, right? it is, mate. And it's so worth every cast. Just keep trying and surface lures. They've changed cod fishing a bit. They have, mate. A lot of people out doing it now, and it's and it's reaping some very big fish like this. Well, this is a Murray cod, just in case you've just tuned in. Probably the most iconic freshwater fish in Australia, if not the world. And I'm very, very blessed because I'm fishing with the gun, Rod the Cod God. Rod, <laughs> you are an absolute champion. I would bow to you, but I'm already kneeling. <laughs> Love your work, mate. That is cod gold. Beautiful. Well, obviously, all these big Murray cod go back. In fact, Rod, by law, they've got to go back. That's it, mate. Anything over 75, back in the drink. 
Well, there you go, but you want to get a photo of this beautiful fish. You want to make sure you've got something to show your friends because they're not going to believe this. So it's really important you look after them. Put the fish back in the net. We're swimming this fish. Water's going through the gills. We're actually making sure its head is facing into the current. We'll make sure the fish is happy. Then we'll get in, take a nice few happy snaps. Then we'll release this big girl because she's going to go back to haunt a few other anglers in the future, hey? That's it, mate. And hopefully we'll come back and get her again. I think we might. I might even call her Beryl, <laughs> just so I know who I'm coming to look for next time. <laughs> So going back, mate? Back he goes. I had to have a cod cuddle first. I didn't get to see as many of these things as Rod does. Just a quick spear, I call Camillus. Yeah, and that was what it was like when he came up and ate that lure, mate. How was, was the take, mate? Explosive. And that's what it's about, this surface fishing. It's, uh, it's right in your face. And it uh, doesn't get much better, I don't think. One of the coolest things I've ever seen. Between us, we've had over a 1,000 casts. But you know what? It doesn't matter when you see fish like that. Murray cod, put on your bucket list. My heart, it's just starting to settle. I tell you what, that sausage on the barbecue, Ron, yeah, and it's, it's gonna taste like gourmet chorizo tonight. We are living like kings. In fact, luxury. <laughs> luxury. Pure luxury. <laughs>